Welcome back Serial Eaters to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got for you this time? This is a bit of an unusual one. This, this was from 2004. It was commercially available and it's a Kellogg's cereal bar maker. Let's take a look. So turning to the front of the box, you'll see uh, pictures of all the Kellogg's characters advertising this uh, cereal bar maker. There's uh, information about uh, the four types that you could make. There's instructions on the reverse. And there's uh, just another side picture there as well. So uh, let's have a look inside. So you've got uh, a recipe book. There's a set of stickers. Uh, Kellogg's mixing bowl. The actual cereal bar maker itself and a spoon. So uh, that looks like everything out of the box. It's fairly straightforward. Let's all get it set up now and see if we can make some cereal. Okay, so this is the uh, recipe I'm going to make is Cocoa Pops uh, Choco Chocks using, uh, let's see. Okay, box. So firstly we need to take these cereal bar molds out of the press. You'll see that there are two that come in. They've got uh, uh, two parts to it. There's obviously a base plate and then a piece you put on top to uh, press down. And then as I said you can make two at a time. So first thing it says to do is to uh, put some cling film in. So. Uh, Here's a bit I got ready earlier. And uh, we've got to get some cocoa pops. So in terms of the cocoa pops themselves, I need four generous tablespoons of cocoa pops. So uh, we're going to make two of these uh, cereal bars. So one, two, three, measure. We then need to do uh, one level teaspoon of icing sugar. So that's okay. We need two here. We're going to make two bars and then uh, we need two level teaspoons of uh, condensed milk. So one two Oh, this is going to be nice and yucky. Three. Maybe a small one because those weren't all quite level. Right. Mix it all up. Oh, this looks really gooey. Let me spoon into the moulds. Get the other one ready as well. Okay, for that as well. So I'm going to get stuck to everything with these. But... Oh, goodness. I think that'll do. All right. Let's give them a push down. Let's fold the cling film over. Let's put the press on. Do the same on this one as well. Okay, now we're ready. I presume I can do it both 
Then you have to keep turning it until I believe it clicks. There we go. And it sounds like that's clicked. I'm sure I could have done a bit, bit of a better job with the uh, cling film, but there we go. There's uh, one of my cereal bars. The intention is, you know, put that in the fridge for an hour or so, let it cool down, that will harden, and then you can put one of these stickers on to uh, see tell you what it is. All good, it's pretty obvious, that's Cocoa Pops. Let's have a look at the other one. There you go, that's not bad. That's two uh, consistent cereal bars. So, here are the two final products. Um, all stick it up. I um, haven't tasted them yet, but hopefully they're all right. Really easy to use this kit. And certainly compared to the uh, Snack Factory, I'd give this a four out of five because it's uh, not that messy. Um, simple, you're able to churn out a couple of cereal bars. And uh, yeah, good, good fun for kids, really. Tuck shops beware! The Kellogg Cereal Bar Maker is here! Take any Kellogg cereal and make a mouth-watering munchie bar in minutes! Add crazy extras to create the wonder bars money can't buy! Turn these into these with the incredible Kellogg Cereal Bar Maker! From character! So if you're interested in this and other cereal offers, please go to my website, cerealoffers.com and click on Kellogg's.